Hello YouTube's Grosama, and here we have today is the real grade full armor unicorn Gundam. Now this is my first unicorn Gundam. I have not built the original and I have not built uh, the Banshee Norn at all. So this is my first introduction to the real grade unicorn line. I'm very excited because I absolutely love, love the full armor unicorn. It's one of my favorite designs of the unicorn aside from the Phoenix. But this is just super awesome and I'm very excited to see exactly what the poses are going to be like because the Master Grade was just lackluster. It may have looked good in a stagnant pose, but I need something that's a little bit more dynamic. So I think this might actually, you know, pretty much make me happy in that kind of sense. So without further ado, let's take a look at the box. The first thing you'll notice is that this box is extremely big. This is about the size of a normal Master Grade. And with looking right here on the front of the box, I am just... I just, I'm very eager to go ahead and build this because this looks super, super good. And right down here you can see that real grade is being described as the real thing. So it has a lot of great details and just it's basically supposed to be a lifelike type of mobile suit just in the palm of your hand. Uh, so that's pretty interesting and uh, I'm really excited to go ahead and see what that's going to look like. This kit is number 30 in the RG line. And even though it does not have any kind of yen right there on the side, uh, it costs about close to 6,000 yen, so you are probably going to see it for a lot more uh, wherever you're going to buy it from. So you're probably looking between maybe 60 and 65, maybe upwards of $70 online. And here you have it in its unicorn mode, just kind of gliding. Uh, that's not really my, kind of like my favorite pose, it's definitely not going to be the one I'm going to put it in. I need to have it in the full destroy mode. And which that's what we're gonna have right here. So very nice looking poses right here in the destroy mode. I'm very excited to go ahead and just put all the decals directly on it. And I might just do a little top coat with some shading. Other than that, I'm probably not gonna paint this because I do have other kits that are in the priority line. And here is a rear shot. And looking on the other end, you get more of the description, much like on the front of the cover. Here's talking about the advanced joint system as well as like some of the mechanics that are inside of the actual inner frame and just the overall mechanics of putting it from unicorn mode to destroy mode. And here you can see all the different weapons laid out. As amazing as they look, it's definitely going to be a headache and a half to just constantly build the weapons you know, over and over again. And it's probably be the longest part of the build. And maybe I should build this first instead of building the suit because if I get the most chaotic part out of the way, then getting to the actual unicorn is kind of like the sweet, you know, the little cherry on top. Uh, but ultimately, I just got to pitter patter. And here's what a unpainted kit will look like with all the little runners and sheets just kind of stacked like that. So I already know this thing is going to have a lot of runners. And with opening it up, you're able to see some more kits that are in the line between the RG and the high grade. And here are a lot of the high grade kits from the Unicorn line, just pretty much li lined up. I don't know why they kind of just picked these instead of just utilizing only the Unicorns, but hey, you know, just kind of showing different, the different products that are in that high grade line. And here they're showing you the RG Unicorn, the high grade Unicorn in the Unicorn mode, and the high grade Unicorn in the Destroy mode. What's wrong, Crow? I don't want to do it, Steve. It's... It's a lot of runners. Well, you built real grades before. You built master grades before. So, there ain't nothing special. I know it's gonna be taskful, but you gotta get at it. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Been a while since I built something that had this many runners. But, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. So we're taking a look at these runners, not in any particular order, uh, just going to run through them fairly quickly because they are a lot of them. So you got blue parts right here, which are going to be for the backpack and the feet. And then over here, it looks like you're going to have more uh, of an off shade, uh, a little bit darker blue for the feet and more for the backpack. You're going to have inner frame right there and then some green right here at the bottom. Next is runner FB2. This is going to have some of the clear effect parts for the Alliance. And then you're going to have some parts right here for the the you know missile pods and all the other weaponry you got the fuel tanks and then red for the actual missiles and here's gonna be FB1 this is essentially the same exact runner it's ever it's not gonna have the clear parts for the uh, the actual you know uh, beam effects but it is gonna have some of the green and the other lands parts right here on the side 
Here's runner FA1. This is going to be a lot more of the inner frame parts. And this looks like it's going to be a new runner because I'm seeing a lot of stuff for like the lands right here and the fuel tanks and other parts. So yeah, this is more likely a new runner. And here's going to be runner G. This is going to have a lot of the inner frame parts. So you got stuff for like the hands and you're going to have more parts for the legs and such. But it's going to be a very nice gloss of, you know, gray. And I think that's pretty nice, but you know, I kind of wish that the inner frame was a little bit more on the dull side, but hey, kind of is what it is. You can always top coat it, paint it, and do whatever it is you want to do to get it to where you want. And here's going to be three runners of FC, so we're just going to take a look at one of them. Uh, this is going to be for like the Gatling guns, you know, the things that come when come in threes, but this looks like it's exclusively all the Gatling guns. Um, so yeah, i got to build this three times, which is going to be fun. And next we're going to have is FA2, so this is basically just a little branch of FA1. This is going to be covering like the fuel tanks and just some other little parts like the little uh, rocket launchers and such. And here you're going to have I1, I2, so taking a look at just I1, this is you know more of the weaponry that you're going to have, looks like it's going to be a shield, be magnums, and so on and so forth. You got parts for like the waist right there, so yeah, just more of the inner frame. And now moving on to the white, we have runner E1. E1's gonna have many of the leg parts right here. You just got like parts with the shield. So uh, just essentially a lot of the white that's gonna be riddled across the entire mobile suit. And here's the same tone white. This is gonna be runner D1. It's gonna have uh, basically parts with the shield. You got parts for the legs and the thighs, so on and so forth. And here you're gonna have two runner D2s, which would be for the shields. And two runner E2s. This is gonna be for the shields as well. And next we're going to have is Runner C. Runner C is going to have the actual V fins right here. And you're going to have parts for like the chest, the head, and just like the shoulders and everything. So looks really good. Now here's Runner F. Runner F is uh, just a very like just a little bit darker of a white maybe even just a light gray color uh than what all the previous white colors were so this is kind of like your little offset kind of you know having different shades of color on your mobile suit it looks really good i couldn't really tell until like i put it like just directly together took my glasses off and just like stared at it intently so it's a little bit subtle but i think once you put the entire kit on you're really going to see the the color difference you know with this so this is going to be mostly just like some minor little colors uh, not colors, but parts. So you got parts for like the side skirts, you got parts for the legs and everything. So it's gonna look really good once put all together. But yeah, from the naked eye, I really couldn't see it until I got close up. Now with moving on to the clear green. The clear green, it's actually a little bit darker in person. I know it's coming up a little bit light. I tried changing the contrast and everything, but um, it's just a little bit darker in person. And I, I love it. I love the, the green, it looks really good. Uh, honestly, it makes me want to paint this in blue because I think the uh, the light blue is my favorite color for the actual Destroy Mode Psycho Frame. Uh, but this looks good and I think it kind of contrasts a little bit more with the full armor. So yeah, I'm actually pretty happy about this. And this is just gonna be parts for all those little Psycho Frame all around the shield you got parts for like the shoulders legs and all that so looks really good here you're gonna get two more parts for the shield so here we come to the inner frame uh, it's I heard a lot of mixed bag you know kind of opinions about this I'm saying it's extremely stiff and you need to kind of work your way in some people saying it's you know no problem with it uh, so I'm gonna just take my time I'm not gonna really force the parts to fit together I'm just gonna kind of work my way in and make sure I don't break any things I heard a lot of people just talk about the sh uh, shoulders in particular so I will definitely be careful in the long run and you get two beam saber effect parts and you also get a very very busy very busy sticker sheet so Really do wish this was water slides, and I can definitely just get water slides uh, separately, but uh, honestly, you know, I don't think the stickers are really too bad when it comes to the real grade line. It's definitely a lot worse when it comes to the high grades and the, you know, some of the master grades. But uh, for this, I, I'm probably just gonna use them because I don't really think they're that bad. But uh, a lot of things that are like maybe over here, I'll probably just color this in for the most part, uh, especially like the little gold on, on the uh, V-Fin. But yeah, it's gonna be a lot of stickers and a lot of work to put into. You also get some Gundam based Tokyo advertisement. And last but not least, you're going to get a full manual. So nothing too different with this manual. Looks like it's going to be the exact same thing. Kind of runs you through everything with uh, the different you know, parts. So you get the legs and all that. So yeah, basic instructions. And looking at the end of it, that's usually where I love to go to. Actually, not that. That's terrible. That's a lot of... Uh, has a lot of sticker placements, but oh, oh, actually, it's way more sticker placements. So the actual, there we go. This is usually what I like to look at. Some of the, like the pictures and illustrations right up here. So you get some stuff concerning the weaponry, and usually in the middle of these books, you get. Actually, you don't. You don't get that. 
oh, I guess you get this. Usually they kind of give you a little more of the backstory and everything, so this is kind of like what you're going to get right there, but ultimately it looks good. Uh, I'm not going to have it in a very basic pose like that. I'm not going to have it just standing. It will be super, super dynamic, so other than that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. Luckily, the rest of this month and most of next month is very, very dull, so I can, you know, focus a little more on the backlog, and I've been wanting to get to this for a while, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of effort into this to make this look beautiful as possible and hopefully by maybe Sunday or so. I know I never get these days right for when I'm predicting my reviews, but hopefully by Sunday I can go ahead and uh, give you that review. But uh, you know, I just need I need to give y'all a little bit of warning. Resident Evil 2 is coming out tomorrow. I'm playing that game. So, I'll try and do a good balance. Uh, I do have the rest of this weekend off. So I'll try and get to this as much as I can and get to Resident Evil 2 as much as I can, maybe even stream it. But other than that, I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.